hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel so we are here today we are going to be doing this next reading for my beautiful one and only Tauros. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, uh, you're more than welcome to like, subscribe, and share. Join the channel. As always, keep in mind, we do not do comments on this channel. That is for my protection and for yours. So Tauros, this reading right here that I have for you is, here's what the universe wants you to know or pay attention to or discover. I don't know, we will see. All right, so with that being said, that was hot. That was hot. That was, uh, you will be playing a different role. So you might be playing a different role soon. Um, maybe doing something out of the ordinary that you normally do not do. Okay, keep in mind, everybody, we are following the astrological body, the astrological order here in the channel. So the order goes as follows. Aries, Thaudos, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and we end in Pisces, okay? Because we are going all around the body, right? So this is the image in which the universe made us, okay? So always remember, we are the entire universe, okay? So we're going to be looking at past, present, future, environment, and outcome within this reading. I have five decks here that we are going to be using. So let's see what the universe has decided to bring to you guys today. What are we going to talk about when it comes to the past position? I'm going to tell you right now, this is Tea Leaf. If you guys have been watching my channel, this deck has taken a major, major break. I want to say it's been on break maybe like two to three months. And I do notice that when the deck comes back out, <laughs> it's kind of like a force to be reckoned with, right? So right now, this is going to be for Thaudos Tea Leaf. What do you want to say about the past for Thaudos? Oh, we got an astral house popping out. Okay. Something to do with career and the desk desk is kind of empty one plant one little um what is that called it's like a calligraphy pen i, I always call it a calligraphy pen because that was like in those times when people did calligraphy okay um so what i'm something's being done in the background for you there's a lot of activity going on there in the past something to do with your career okay what do we need to know for thaudos for the present position wow Again, desk has to do with something with your career. This one says, pay attention to your work. Now, this one has, oh, I've never seen that before. The legs are made of people. Interesting. And there's paper on the table, on the desk. And it was challenging. Present. Okay, and then you're also getting here in the reverse bear. This is a uh, danger, especially in money matters. Okay, and that's challenging as well. Danger. You might be dealing with an individual, Thaudos, who either gets jealous or feels jealous of maybe the work that you're able to do or the work that you're able to obtain let's get the rest of the positions in order for me to tell you more about that because it definitely has to do with like some type of work or the work that you're able to do and it's kind of like it's almost as if whoever this bear energy is this aggressive energy this ah pay attention to me type of energy right it's kind of like they always want to distract you from your work or take the focus away from your work onto them. Mm. What do we need to know for the future position for Thaudos? Okay, vases in the reverse. Secret admirer. So, this is not a secret admirer. It's no longer a secret. Now it is present. What do we need to know for the position for environment for Thaudos, please? 
what do we need to know for them oh this is interesting give me one minute and i'm gonna put them on like this so we do not lose what we're looking at here we're looking at crib for the environment birth or conception of a child and or enterprise doesn't necessarily for some of you it could be a baby or being very fertile for others of you it could be birthing or creating an idea or a concept or maybe a position you would like to go into something you're going to be beginning fox is here in the reverse shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business but it, because it's in the reverse it's almost as if somebody wants to begin something but they're not so smart at it table is here challenging position hard work ahead table is empty caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming okay so keep in mind you guys yes i am coming out i am telling you this is for Thados, but remember my readings are with the astrological body okay so with that being said any one of my readings can be watched by any zodiac sign you could be a cross watcher you could totally not have no Thados in your chart and you could still watch this now in the environment, there is crib where something's being creative, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in a business, in the reverse, um, meaning this person is not so resourceful. They kind of don't know what to do. Maybe they didn't do their research as they should have. Table in is challenging, hard work ahead. And then we're getting caterpillar here. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. You guys all know a caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. I just heard monarch butterfly. Okay, so with the monarch butterfly, they travel, they migrate, they go to where they need to be at that particular time and season, right? So what I'm going to say is as you're evolving and as you're changing or as your environment is changing or maybe as either there's a baby coming in or a new business coming i know i call my business my baby um you need to be resourceful you need to be smart and you need to be diligent and you need to um do what it is you need to do because you might be perceiving it as hard work with the table here but it's actually pretty easy, okay? It's something that is going to be pretty easy for you to take care of, okay? So, next let's go into the outcome. What is the outcome for this Thaudos reading? What is the outcome for this Thaudos reading, please? What is the position of that? Tell us, ooh, something to do with September or something that is going to be challenging in September because it is in a challenging position. This one's in the challenging position as well, which is bridge. And it says successfully overcoming a problem. So it's gonna be challenging, but you will overcome whatever it is in September. We have a challenging older man here. Dealings or relationship with an older man, an older individual wow okay that was so and this is going to be the outcome this is going to be leading into september right now we're in august okay so let's go into my enchanted map here and let's see where all this is going because honestly there's definitely um something here that's challenging you know what's crazy it might be maybe this individual feels like if we put work at play or if we make work an option, it's going to distract from me or it's going to take from me. And it's like this person is very stern and very like, no, they don't want to hear that. They do not want to hear that. But honestly, my opinion and my personal opinion as a female most importantly as a female but also for the masculine men out there um for all of us it is important to work with ourselves and do what we need to do find whatever is meant for us to do or whatever makes us feel comfortable enough to do it for the meantime 
because having a job it doesn't mean you're going to be in that particular field for a very long time like right now i'm actually switching fields now i don't have anybody saying anything to me okay but there are matters that do take from my time that i am personally invested in emotionally invested in right so and, and i'm not a thaudos you guys i don't have thaudos in my chart i'm scorpio okay but this resonates because when you're switching careers and when you're trying to switch careers you want to have that peace of mind you want to have sort of like I want to say the calm before you jump into the storm, before you dig right in and you say, this is my job, this is what I was trained for, and I'm going to be the best that I can be at it, right? And that's the type of energy that I'm getting here. But how can you be the best that you want to be for whatever position you have? I don't care what it is. I don't care if you are a garbage collector for a municipality or you're a police officer or you're a fitness it doesn't matter what it is once you get whatever position it, yo you could be working at mcdonald's okay you're gonna flip that burger in a perfect way that maybe customers would even say man i'm not going to eat when this person is not there okay whatever the position is it does not matter and i feel like with this distracting energy here because it says danger especially in money matters it's like if this person okay was to like they'll feel some type of way about your work but it's almost as if well i would like to reap the benefits from you working and if you're an individual as an individual you need to always prioritize your finances and your money and you need to always pay attention to what is more important right so this is getting a bit tricky here with you Thaudos, but it's kind of you could work with this because you can sacred pool sacred pool is here so this is letting me know and there's a little bit of movement here This is letting me know there could be a possibility, a little bit of resentment, issues, or emotions that this, you know, I know what this is. I know what this energy is. This is an energy of, I want you to work. I want to have the finer things in life. Or you saying to yourself, I want to have the finer things in life, but then not wanting to put into hard work and the emotions are taking over. You cannot look at a job like... They want me to shuffle again. What? Okay, what is that? You cannot look at a job. Encouragement. Whether you are receiving encouragement here, watching this reading, or you can receive encouragement from individuals that you can speak to, make sure that people who you speak to, that that's what they provide for you, Thaudos. They provide encouragement. They provide that support. And if you don't have anybody to do that, listen, sweetheart, you're more than welcome to stay on my channel because you guys already know I am all about that empowerment. Um, you don't need nobody to tell you otherwise. Your money is your money. You have the choice to do what you need to do with your money. And if somebody feels the need to, oh, but I want you to work. Oh, but I, I don't because of the time you're gonna spend away. What? Okay, I'm kind of going all over the place here. And it's this this energy that you're dealing with. Okay, what do we need to know for the past here? For Thaudos, please. Okay, so here you go. Gentle Gardener, Compass. So going in the right direction. You might even maybe you're being directed to the gentle gardener to me you guys is like divine influence okay someone who has already passed on could be coming in and sort of like influencing you to make sure you're taking care of the nest too a number of needing to balance that out compass is here number 50 
goes to five is something that needs to change so maybe you're not going in the right direction maybe you're not heading in the right direction maybe you're not even seeing things in the right direction it can even go as far as maybe you're not even going down the right street uh-huh to see a help wanted sign or to see um an opportunity, an agency that has something available. And it's kind of like, you. in order for you to see it, you have to be directly facing it, Dauros, okay? So, yeah, you got a lot of options. You just have to be in front of it, so to speak. Okay, what we need to know for this present position. Listen, I didn't say it. They're saying it solitude with the watchtower that's what that reminds me of it's like a fallen like a fallen or broken down watchtower right this is feeling isolated number four it's like you need to begin your foundation Tauros, with like dealing with your solitude dealing with your space your space is very important you guys for those who have been here for quite a while i've been doing this going on three years okay you guys your space is super 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 important your personal space okay when i'm talking about your personal space and i used to talk about this on the podcast i'm gonna let you guys know right now we used to talk about the mana the creativity that lies within your empty space i wish i could give you guys a tour around my house in my kitchen there's a notepad and a pen my bedroom of course we've got that the office is here downstairs in the living room i could show you guys the way my coffee table looks right now i've got everything for my candle business right there because i'm working on labels it's like every space that i have in my house except for my kids room and the bathroom of course every space that i have in my house there is something there that produces and i don't even want to say the word produces induces creativity okay solitude some people don't know how to be in solitude. I had to learn how to be in solitude, okay? Because I began to notice for myself how I would behave and how I would kind of like be critical and be judgmental and self-reflect. And I'm like, whoa, it, it was just taking a lot from me, right? But when you take your step back and you evaluate your empty space you evaluate your empty space right and then you begin to work with your empty space now if your space is not empty and you're dealing with someone like this that could be a problem because let's say for example um i'm gonna give you guys a perfect example me nobody tells me when to make candles how to make candles make a certain amount produce a certain amount put on the website a certain i that's on me that is on me when i feel like sitting down and doing it that is when i do it because i have to wait for my nudge i have to wait for my go ahead and move into this subject and do it now right and it might be the same thing for you Thaudos. And I feel like presently, this being in the position of present, is like you need to be in solitude, Thaudos. Solitude is also going to bring you into a state of self-reflection, of understanding, of um, being in your reality, becoming more in tune with yourself. You're going to begin to ask your questions. What is it that I need? How can I get what I need? And I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm not going to stress this enough. Instead of saying, I like that car, but that car is $5,000. 
Instead of saying, I cannot afford a purchase like that. You need to begin to retrain yourself and say, how can I? How can I? How can I? Whatever it is. How can I get that car? Um, how can I get that job? How can I, um, whatever, buy that nice purse or buy those nice shoes or pay my rent or pay whatever it is? How can I get my child into that school? How can I? How can I? Super super important question it is very important since i began saying to myself how can i instead of i cannot or i can't afford it i don't have the luxury to do when i began saying to myself how can i i began to see synchronicities patterns and hints and um opportunities come my way that I'm like okay and every single time it's how can I so that's going to be very important for you when you go into solitude Tauros make sure that's what you're saying how can I how can I whatever whatever okay whatever your little heart desires um what do we need to know for the position with the future here with the secret admirer in the reverse? Now, I'm going to tell you right now because it is in the future. It has not happened yet. Um, timing is fluent. You guys already know that. But this person in the near future, they're going to make themselves aware. They're going to let you know either that they have been watching you or they've been wanting to talk to you. What do we need to know for this future position? movement and it's an ostrich <laughs> that makes me laugh because an ostrich is a very tricky animal they only let you around them if they choose to ostriches have very powerful powerful feet claws like it's beyond ridiculous okay and when this secret admirer in the future comes towards you, it's because they're going to feel like, okay, now's the time. Now I can go talk to her or now I can go talk to him. This person might be following you on social media or they might be around maybe a family member where they're asking questions about you. Oh, making a choice is here. Okay. They're going to make a choice eventually to come towards you because they're going to know, oh, she's not going to kick me to the curb. She's not going to kick me to the curb. She's going to pay attention to me. Number 28, which goes to 10, that is a number of ending a cycle. So they're going to know, and now we could talk. Now I don't have to be a secret admirer no more. Now I can come out and sort of like, surprise, surprise. I'm right here and I've been watching you the whole time. I hope nobody approaches you like that. But I'm just saying, they're going to feel okay to come towards you, Thaudos. Okay. <clears throat> what do we need to know for this environment for Thaudos, please? What do you want Thaudos to know about their environment? Okay. I don't know what's going on here. But you're getting intention with an owl and an egg on top. What's up with this egg thing? What is up with this egg thing? Are you fertile? I, I don't know. For some of you, you guys might be fertile or you might already have a, a bun in the oven. <laughs> I don't know what y'all got going on, but hey, okay. Now, this field that's here and that thing that that the owl is holding i take those as wishes i don't care what y'all say i take those as wishes i've been doing that and believing that since i was a little child i would just pick them up blow them up in the wind with my wish and and off they would go right i kind of feel here like someone has created something with this wish a foundation or they're hoping to create something with the wish now remember this is here, the table, hard work ahead, but it's sideways. It's challenging, meaning 
it's not going to be as challenging as you think it would be, Taurus, okay? So I don't know if you're just really, really fertile or if you're just going to be going into your creativity once you come out of solitude and you make that movement to say, you know what, I am going to create what I need to create. Mm. So now I'm going to put this here in the middle. This is deep freeze because I didn't say the other one, which is outcome. Somebody's emotions are going to be frozen solid. I mean, ice cold. This is ice cold. This is a new energy that's going to be coming in. Maybe you're going to be uh, freezing your, your feelings at the moment or not wanting to feel anything. Oh, yeah, I remember that song. So I'm hearing the song in my head from Omarion. What is that called? Icebox. Icebox, I think it's called Icebox. Yeah, I remember that song where he was saying his heart was cold as an icebox and you don't know what it feels like. And okay, so I don't know. For those of you who want to look up the song, go hear it. It's exactly what this, but somebody's going to, not be strong no more they're not going to be vulnerable i really want to say there's this energy here of someone who doesn't want to be strong anymore they don't want to try to fix a situation anymore they just want to move forward they just want to move forward i'm tired of the ish and i want to go in a different direction wow okay what we need to know for this outcome here for thaudos please Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Getting the magic stream. There's my dude. That's my guy right there. That's the crane. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Slow and steady. And if he's got to put up a fight, he will put up a fight. Now here, for, this is why I said, wow, here for the outcome, there's this coming apart here in the outcome. Okay. Now, remember, there's going to be some type of challenge in September. Somebody's going to be not wanting to go towards an opportunity. Something to do with an older man. This could be an older gentleman who is stuck in their ways or it's someone who is very mature and they're stuck in their ways and they just don't want to change how they are. But regardless of the situation... When a person is stuck in their ways, doubtos, it's still going to come apart. This is number 46. That goes to 10, okay, which is an ending of a cycle. So there's definitely something here that's going to end because something new is beginning, okay? So I am going to say this. For those of you who have something new going on and you were hoping that this new would sort of like change things or whatever it is going to i don't know what change it is you're waiting for but there's definitely something here where someone is going to begin coming apart from a situation okay well we need to know for the past four thoughts please wow all right, so you're getting trapped in fear, and I'm going to get all the cards real quick. Trapped in fear. What do we need to know for Thaudos for the present position, please? Triumphant success. What do we need to know for Thaudos for the future? Future. I like that. Third eye chakra. Okay. What do we need to know for the environment for Thaudos? Crown chakra. All right. So, yeah, there's definitely, oh, crown chakra and sacral chakra. Stop it. And what do we need to know for the outcome? For Thaudos, please. Got it. Stand your ground. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you right now, Thaudos. <sighs> there's three chakras here all right 
let's just begin from the top. Here in the past position, you're getting trapped in fear, which is number eight. This is a card of being trapped in fear within your mind. Okay, it's not physically being trapped in fear. It's being trapped in fear within your mind. So maybe in the past, you have always been scared to make a choice or make a decision that you needed to make. And it's kind of like, it's almost as if now you're forced to face this fear head on. I think it has to do with a change in career. Could be a change in career. Um, solitude here with the triumphant success. Now, triumphant success, sword is up. It means you're ready for battle. It means you're ready to overcome your obstacles and challenges, whatever they are. You're ready to do what you got to do. You're ready to produce this action, right? So I'm telling you, solitude, being alone, and even if you're not alone, like me, I've got my kids in my house, right? I got people in my house. Um, I have my pets, my dog, you know, my turtle, but that doesn't really make any noise. But, you know, the dog main thing, she's always, forget it. It's the end of the world if you don't pet her. And she's sitting right in front of you. She just can't. She gets antsy. But a moment of solitude can be as little as five minutes to... If you live alone, okay? When you are in solitude and when you are alone, Taurus, and I don't know if this is for someone who's going to eventually be alone pretty soon, like pretty, pretty soon, because this is present. Don't be afraid to be alone. Some of the best geniuses and, and most greatest influential people, the best scientists that we've ever had in this entire world, we they thrived off of solitude okay so just because you're alone for that particular moment in time it doesn't mean you're going to be alone forever okay it's just something that's necessary in order for you to find the action that you need to take in order to become successful third eye here for your future position okay now I don't know if it's that you're hoping that eventually a secret admirer comes towards you after they see all of the progress that you made and everything that you've worked towards um, that or you already get the sense that someone likes you. It could be someone who's waiting and watching you to get yourself together. And it's kind of like you already know this, like you already see this person's motives and intentions. OK. Um, environment okay we are getting the crown chakra which is the influence which is number seven this is a number of self-reflection this is a spiritual number you guys and then we're getting sacral chakra number two the number of balance okay you might be getting influence lately Taurus, to balance your personal whatever it is challenges situations circumstances you're being guided to balance them out. And then at the same time, you're also being guided to balance on a more intimate level. Okay. The thing with this is if you're not an individual who's open enough to become vulnerable, either to your partner or to someone else that you trust, you're going to have to do this work alone. My best tip for you if you don't want to tell nobody whatever it is you're trying to overcome, go to Barnes & Nobles. Go on Amazon. Find a book. Self-improvement. Personal growth. Transformation uh, books. Soul-searching books, okay? Buy yourself a book and read it. Don't sit down and watch a video. Don't look for quotes online that'll bring you inspiration actually get a book go in your room or your living room whatever it is put your headphones on if you need to if somebody's next to you watching tv or whatever and read that book read it you will not understand how much it completely changes you i am 
Barnes and Nobles is my favorite place. I am always up in there, okay? And sometimes I, I'll go without the intention of buying a book and then I'll see a book that draws my eye and I will buy that book because it's something for me. It is self, it is for me because I'm the one who's gonna read it. So doing the small gesture of finding something to help you improve yourself for you okay it's going to be so beneficial for you so beneficial you're going to absolutely probably get hooked on it like oh i'm gonna go buy me i finished that book i'm gonna go get the second one but start with one book and read it and commit to reading and finishing that book and when you finish that book and you close it you will say to yourself wow i really committed to reading a book and it worked out i didn't break a sweat nobody died everybody's in order house is still clean and i read a book it's it's something that you're doing for yourself now over here in the outcome position with the stand your ground check this out this is you thados this is you if you stand your ground and it's the number seven there's seven 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 here that means luck that means you have a very high potential for luck okay um standing your ground doing something for you it, it doesn't even need to be anything major but doing something for you like that it, it exercises the mind and it calms the mind in a way where it's listen all my kids know they see a book in my hand don't talk to mom and it's not that i've screamed at them or whatever they just know mom is in her element she's reading her book i merely sometimes will read 15 20 30 minutes maybe on a night where i can't sleep i'll read an hour but they know when i am reading it is my time please wait hold your thought until i'm done begin to do this for yourself because you know what if you have kids like me and you teach them that to wait until you're done doing something for yourself when they get older they're gonna make sure they teach their kids you wait you wait it doesn't cost you a lot to wait 15 minutes it does not so you need to stand in your authority when you're doing something for yourself and pat yourself on the back too okay Dados? when you do something good for yourself and you know it's good pat yourself on the back don't wait for nobody to come and give you recognition hey i noticed you did this that and the third nobody's gonna do that okay nobody's gonna do that for you you need to do that for yourself i do it for myself all the time i don't have people telling me oh i'm so proud of you this that and the third and i see something wants to show itself here i want to look at it oh healing the ouch with the magic stream you see so whatever is troubling you you're gonna be able to heal it Thados, okay what do we need to know for the career position for Thaudos, please? For the career position for Thaudos, what do you want them to know? Okay. There is the door to romance here. Okay. Where's the key? Where's the key? This is a bird cage and it's locked up. Number six. Maybe you're feeling like, maybe you're feeling like if I do everything that I need to do, maybe eventually I'll run into, oh, we got man holding coin at the bottom. Maybe I'll run into someone who is okay with their finances and doing what they need to do. I don't know why, but this door to romance never shows itself to me like that. And it's almost as if 
the career it's what's been leading to the romance or romances here's your journey for uh present what we need to know for the future let's get the cards real quick okay rest and rejuvenation and we got an archangel archangel metatron yep from the beginning all right what do we need to know for environment challenging angel of strength okay what do we need to know for outcome strategy i love it bottom of the deck here angel of balance okay so that was, what i'm getting here is you definitely it's definitely necessary for you to go on this journey and i really do feel like this journey of solitude is super super important for you because i think you need to begin to analyze everything everything on the table needs to be analyzed okay um the door to romance okay the door to romance is very interesting to me right now because i don't know if it's when you're working people will be approaching you oh all right it's coming together that's where the secret admirer is coming from whatever next job or position you're going to be getting there is going to be an admirer but it's like that's second you're not going to be paying attention to that <laughs> three of pentacles you're there to work <laughs> you're there to work with them and that's it you're not even really looking at them like okay um let's get together or whatever all right what do we need to know <laughs> for the present here but they're definitely the secret admirer hyperfant it's the life lessons that you need to learn okay it's like you need to commit to this journey you need to commit to this solitude you need to know that you are protected and guided as you are going on this journey okay because you're gonna be prepared or being prepared you're being prepared for the next lesson that's coming up that was omg okay what we need to know okay so really quick hold on that's the next lesson hold on guys hold on so what we're getting here we've got the rest and rejuvenation sorry about that and i don't feel like getting up because i need that phone to stay on um rest and rejuvenation is here so it's kind of like take your breaks where you need to take your breaks right um six chakra archangel menatron he is the first archangel he created the blueprint right what is that the metatron cube or something like that um he's here guiding you influencing you preparing you to begin this new foundation to begin this new state because it's like now you've already ended what you need to end now three of swords is gonna go here i'm gonna tell you this right now it's not that the secret admirer is going to break your heart and bring in pain lost and issues this secret admirer is going to heal whatever traumas separations abandonments whatever it is that you dealt with that broke your heart in the past this person is coming to heal it okay and this is why when i was looking at the hierophant it's kind of like you need to commit to this solitude this journey of solitude now because we're bringing in the one normally that's not supposed to be done it's heal first then we bring in the one but for some reason your situation has been so important to the process that they're bringing in the one who's going to heal everything so they need you to do this and they need you to do this now it is imperative that you go into your solitude and you begin to start doing the work that you need to do for yourself okay what do we need to know about the environment here now the environment is getting a challenging angel of strength 
letting me know it is challenging for you to be strong. You might on the surface be strong and show people that you are strong, but in reality, no. King of Pentacles, you're not because you've been strong this whole entire time. You've been a provider this whole entire time. It's like your guard is up, right? And it's like, hello, how are you supposed to put it down, right? When you want to be vulnerable or if you're a female, you want to be feminine. You can't even put that down because you're always like with your guard up. And doing what you need to do. Okay. Tell me about this outcome here for Tauros, please. All right. Nine of Swords. You might even be up at night. You might be maybe experiencing a little bit of anxiety. Let me see the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups, boredom, questioning things, figuring out, well, when am I going to receive my Ace of Cups, my Cup of Love, because it's something that I want. Sorry if that sounded loud for you guys. So, yeah, you might be up strategizing, like, how can I do this? How can I stand my ground? How can I move forward from this individual? How can I freeze my emotions and just really get in tune with myself and then I don't have to worry about this no more? Okay. Give us, this is going to be your affirmation, guys. So let's see here. What do you want to talk to Thaudos about today? What's the message? What's the message? One card. Mm. Rose without thorns. You have a right to your joy, peace, and sweetness of life. Oh, I like that already. 116. Let's see. I like that already. Okay. So it says, most roses have thorns that protect the plant. When you walk past, it's so easy to get caught on their spick spickly stems. As if the thorns themselves are an initiation for the observer to get to the breathtaking beauty and scent of the queen of all flowers in full bloom. However, there are a small number of roses that are unlike most, possessing few or no thorns. And that's what this card is all about. The rose without thorns is an invitation to drive straight into your sweetness of your life to rest into the softness, to enjoy the delicious fragrance, and to rest in and relish what it means to be currently alive in this body. Wow. To embrace all the beauty and bliss that life has to offer. You have a right to your joy and the rose without thorns. Wants you to take every ounce of it right now to celebrate and lose yourself in the sweetness of your life. This is a rare moment in time of deep peace and enjoyment. You're being called to taste all that it has to offer, to drink it all in. You deserve every drop you've worked for this moment. Embrace it now with open arms. It's safe for you to enjoy this, to welcome this to embody all of this. And while life is ever changing and forever inviting us to grow, right now, your lesson is to be in the delight of it all. And it says, Rose Transmission. So I think this is the affirmation. I have a right to my joy. I appreciate and drink in the sweet nectar of my life. Life is beautiful, you guys regardless of what you go through regardless of how people make you feel 
at the end of the day, you still have a life. And we need to be grateful. And we need to be mindful of it. And we need to take notice of all of the blessings that we have here, okay? Including health, um, whatever makes you feel abundant, whatever makes you happy. If you're able to eat, if you're able to walk, if you're able to drink clean water. There's a lot of things that other people don't have. And sometimes I will say this, sometimes I feel like us over here, we have a lot of freedoms. And sometimes we are not as grateful as we should be. And we live in the moment of, well, why not me? Why not me? Instead of, how can I? I know I can do that. So how can I do it? Because things are not as bad as they seem, okay? So work hard, continue to work on your progress, continue to do for you, and you will see that all those how can I moments will turn into I've done it. 